Hey, what's up, guys and gals? It's Goliath, and I'm back again with... Ianthus. And we are still reviewing the Dragon Ball Z series movies. Not Dragon Ball, not GT, not Super. Not yet, at least. But Dragon Ball Z. And what movie did we watch, Ianthus? The Return of Cooler. The sequel to the... Revenge of Cooler's Revenge of the... Anyway, the first movie that was also called Revenge, but for some... Return of Cooler! <laughs> Ianthus is now broken. It is great to watch. Um, yeah, so apparently on this one, we're, again, trying to figure out, are these movies canon? Do they belong in the timeline? This one, actually, if they did it a little differently, it... it very oh, it's like walking the line, parallel universe, like Universe 6 and Universe 7, right next to each other. Stop going into Super, we're in Dragon Ball Z. Spoilers, oopsies. Erase what I just said, people. No, um, so it really was kind of great. Like, the movie started off... Um, it's a complete ripoff of the original animated Transformers movie with a big planet thing coming in to try to eat planet Namek. New Namek. New Namek. Because old Namek went kaboom. Yeah, so you start off the movie with this big eclipse coming in the the, the, the one of the sons of New Namek. Oh, yeah, because the sons... They have two sons in New Namek, apparently, instead of one. Who needs one? We need three. Star Wars. <laughs> So anyway, this big eclipse comes in, they see it's this giant metal star, it latches onto the planet and starts attacking, starts enslaving the people. Dende on Earth realizes there's something wrong with my home world, my new home world. My, pe too. my people need help. My people need help. I'm gonna send the everybody because Mr. Popo said that's okay. No, no, that was weird. It was like, you know, he's like, because Dende's now being trained to be the guardian. We still don't know what Mr. Popo is. He kind of looks like a, a sunburned Namekian, like, you know. Don't go into what Mr. Popo is. He's the assistant. So he looks at Dende and goes, it's okay to ask him for help, Dende. And he, this Dende looks up at the sky, just magically goes, Goku, save my people. I'm like, isn't he? The, you're, you're up. He's, he's, da shouldn't you like, was he already going? Was, I'm confused. Or did you psychologically or uh, psychically tell Goku? Go save my people. You're our only hope. So what they do is they all use instant transmission and wait. No, they don't do that. They save that until they're already there. Yeah. They ride a spaceship there, Capital, which Capital is probably, what, like a two or three month trip, I guess? Uh, it took Goku in the first ship three weeks, I think Bulma said. Something took him like that. I mean, so Goku has instant transmission. We'll just pretend that's not a thing. So they take a ship there. They realize, oh, wait, this thing's being attacked like he said it was. That's weird. That Meaning the planet. So they get there, there's these robots that are trying to enslave the Namekians. They try to beat off these robots and realize they're too strong. Piccolo can't beat these things. Krillin can't beat these things. Which, by the way, this movie basically opens up with Krillin just getting smacked. Hug it. Again, we, we love you, Akira Toriyama and Toei Animation. We love you. What do you have against Krillin? Because he's human. They're, 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 they're humanists. They don't like us, so they just smack us around. But this time he gets back up to get smacked around some more. But anyway, the Z Fighters are there. They're trying to fight these metal robot things. things. They look and like yeah. they're, they're no match. These guys are too strong until Piccolo says, focus when you punch them. And then they're not that bad and they're defeatable. <laughs> Unless you're Krillin, who's still getting smacked around. No, 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 no. He did punch it. And, no, sorry. It elbowed him in the face. Then he got dropped. Then he got up and smashed one. And then one smacked him on the skull again. And then he knocked out another one. And then he was captured again. Very hard to follow without watching the movie. I mean, we're assuming you guys have watched the movie. We hope you watch the movie, guys. But you know, we, our editors always throw fun little widget clips in there for you guys Spoilers. to see. Spoilers. Um, so anyway, Goku decides I'm gonna come in. It's my turn to fight. You guys have to leave this planet because you know I don't want to. I don't want to resort to violence. But here we go. And okay. who comes out behind them? Well, uh, you know, metal. No, sorry, meta cooler. I always thought it was mecha cooler because he, he's a mech. He's a robot. But apparently it's meta cooler instead of metal cooler. I, I They said it many times and I was like, isn't it mecha, you know, or mech? So I was like, as cooler, robot, mech. This makes sense. He's a mech. But apparently that's, that is no. So... So, this newer, stronger version of Cooler who's been rebuilt by the star that's eating the planet, the big Getty Y star. <laughs> and uh, so, so Goku's fighting him is kind of a head to head match, but really, yeah, yeah, Cooler's, yeah. Cooler's got the upper hand. Uh, apparently, uh, I always love looking up little bits of information before we do these reviews. Apparently, to the fandom, Metal Meta Cooler is around Super Saiyan 2 ish. So, that puts him, you know, again, we're thinking post trunks 
before the arrival of the androids, so they don't even know what Super Saiyan 2 even is yet. So he's stronger than Super Saiyan 1, obviously, because he beats the crap out of Goku quite easily. And a uh, spoiler alert for that one if you don't have watched the movie, Vegeta, Mar this is where the movie lost canon ability. Vegeta showed up and went Super Saiyan. That's the only thing that affects the canon. Go Vegeta pops in to help Goku. Well, not help Goku, but he just, just shows up flex himself a little bit. Out, yeah. And he turns Super Saiyan. And the only thing that really makes this not fit the canon is he goes Super Saiyan and nobody bats an eye. Because this could fit after Trunks, but before yeah. the androids. But Super everyone would Saiyan. be surprised that he turned Super Saiyan. Yeah, Goku was just like, you're here? And then, boom, he went Super Saiyan. And that was it. Now, to avoid dragging this on, basically, Vegeta and Goku get smacked around together by Metacooler. They finally decide they're gonna work together, combine their powers, they take him down until 30 more of him show up. No, that was like that was like a hundred or maybe more. There was, there was like, we destroyed one, they look up the mountain, they go, we did, oh crap, there's another, why are there more than, oh, then there's just like a hundred of them across the mountaintop and they're like, damn. Also at this point, everyone's been captured, like everyone's in the Big Getty Star at this point, except for Piccolo, Goku, and Vegeta. And they're just like, oh yes, we're, we're here to enslave these people. Oh, but we need your energy. And the only way to do that is... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the little robot man um, basically says they need to chop you open to take your energy out of you. To feel the star. So Yadirobe goes up and punches the little robot man. And I was thinking, because honestly, I said this before. Yadirobe fought one of King Piccolo's kids and won. There's but he can't... He power comparison between King Piccolo and, like, Frieza-level soldiers, okay? The robot was a foot tall. Kid Boo. <laughs> Kid Boo is a foot tall. He's to the point. <laughs> the cooler army captures Goku, captures Vegeta. Doesn't matter that they're Super Saiyans. He's going to use their energy to fuel the star. Drains their energy successfully. That's it for our heroes. The show is over. Sad ending. <laughs> nope. Too much power, star starts to blow up. All the cooler robots start, start malfunctioning. malfunctioning and blowing up because the Super Saiyans just have too much energy. And Super Saiyan 1. Yep, Super Saiyan 1. So, uh, the other basically, that's the end of the movie. There's a little bit more. Uh, I will let you watch it to see how it ends from there, but Super Saiyan energy saves the day. No spirit bomb, no, no. magic trick, no, well, no Krillin out of nowhere. Well, the thing about it was that they explained how the Big Eddie star got cooler, which really messed with me. They were like, oh yeah, the chip was in space, and this chip gained sentience, and found my head floating in space. I'm like, wait, you were blown up in Earth's sun. New Namek is like several solar systems away from... How did the chip take your head to the thing and... I mean, depending on <laughs> how long it's been wandering through space, it could kind of fit. So... Uh, yeah, maybe, but... So to our points, is this canon? It could, it was like 90% there. It could have been canon. Uh, but unfortunately, with Vegeta going Super Saiyan, and then in the TV series, everyone was shocked he went Super Saiyan, which means, again, people forgot he went Super Saiyan. Um, so honestly, I gotta say, it can't be canon. It could have been canon, but it cannot be. It also be. hurts that this is the sequel to something that we said in our last video could not be canon. So that pretty much rules it out. Good try. Now, would you say, we like this movie? I like it because, again, it has good plot. It builds off from Cooler's death. It all builds off Frieza's death and the whole thing. So it has good story and background. So it actually has something to build off of. But it does fall short because, again, it's just like the ending was, you know, just so abrupt. Like, you can't defeat us. And like, you just, you just used energy. Eh. I feel like in this movie, the action and the whole intensity of it ramps, 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 ramps. It goes, okay, we're done. Like, I feel like it just kind of drops off at the end. We're like, ah, oh, we're going to power up and, oh, that's it. It's over. Um, but it's it's a good movie. It's worth a watch. I wouldn't watch it without watching the first one. Yeah. Because, obviously, it's it's the return of the revenge of King uh, Pickleface. Um, something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, honestly, one thing I do want to say, though, before we uh, give it our rating, I, the ending, guys, you will die laughing because it's... I'm not going to ruin it because you got to watch it. The ending was great and just... Everyone's smiling. We were smiling, and the ending was wonderful. <laughs> I wanted to make a falling joke, but uh, I don't have one. Anyway, <laughs> so our ratings. What you I would personally give this a five star ball. Five star ball. Okay. I gotta say, I'm like a four star ball. Honestly, it was good. I did like it, but again, I was really sad in that because it could have been canon. Like if Vegeta didn't go Super Saiyan but got close to it, maybe it could have played off like he was close to getting Super Saiyan. 
and I was kind of disappointed in that is one. This the closest we've been to canon. Yeah, actually, I think so. this is closest next. The only the closest one would be Garlic Jr., and that, that's like the closest one thus far. But then everyone forgot everything. At least everybody who's dead or alive is. Everybody who's supposed to be dead or alive is dead or alive as they're supposed to be. Again, but this is the other part. So if this is pre. Android, Goku should be having like heart problems and all this, so a bunch of other reasons. A little bit later, so that kind of fits. It kind of fits. So honestly, it, it, not a bad movie, but again, guys, we're trying to figure out can these be canon? And the answer to this one is a resounding no. So, almost. No. Almost, but no. And is it good? Yeah. yeah. Just, all right. Straight fighting again. Not much of a story it's build. Lord's luck. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We don't talk about that here. Anyway, <laughs> our next one is Android 13. Yes. So stay tuned for that coming up in our next video. Later, guys. Android 13. See you later.